hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video in today's video i am going to be making this native jollof rice okay to be accompanied with chicken thighs grilled chicken thighs and of course we are going to be mixing with vegetables okay we cannot only be consuming carbohydrates make it a balanced diet okay so i will start by by boiling the chicken thighs i have four big chicken thighs here we are for in this family okay this is actually something you can make for the upcoming easter season okay so um i like to boil chicken before grilling all right this is just something i do personally okay but you know you can go straight away grilling without par boiling so uh, these ingredients here will be listed down the description okay just go to the description box if you want to see all the ingredients I use in boiling this chicken but you saw that I added some red onions and of course go and check out the rest of the ingredients used in boiling this chicken I'll add a little bit of water and I'm going to add some pepper this pepper was blended with some fresh garlic okay so I'll just add and then cover and boil like 10 to 12 minutes and allow the chicken thigh to uh, absorb the liquid all right so lest i forget if you have sharp knife or toothpick the long long one just use it to make a hole in the chicken thigh so that it will absorb the liquid very well that is what i did even though i did not show it here so after boiling for 10 12 minutes i transfer to my baking pan and what you are seeing here is just uh, sunflower oil mixed with soya spice i'm going to be seasoning it with that i love this chicken to have some uh, this taste of soya okay so you can just mix sunflower oil or any type of oil at all this is just something i want to do okay but you can grill your chicken if you don't have soya spice at home so for the rice i am using basmatic rice as always basmatic rice is just my favorite okay basmatic or jasmine rice so since we're making a traditional rice i'm going to be using palm oil for this okay i'll allow this palm oil to heat up i will not bleach it at all and after that i'll add some uh, chopped onions and fry for about two minutes or until the color change to transparent okay After frying for about two minutes, guys, I am using two different native seasoning here, iru and uh, dawa dawa. Okay, combined together is something amazing that if you have not used before, <laughs> me telling you now it will be like a joke. But this place, eh, eh? Oh my god, the smell, the aroma in this kitchen right now. I will advise you to combine these two together. Okay, the iru is the one that Yoruba people use why the wadawa is the one we use in Igbo land but combining the two together is something else so i added some blended crayfish because i wanted to release its own flavor into this oil and everything mixed together is amazing guys it's amazing just try it i will allow this to release its flavor like i said and then i will just add my pepper in this particular native jello fries i am not using tomato okay you can use tomato if you want but this is something i just want to do without tomato today i will fry this fry it and allow it to you know allow the oil to just float on top yeah you do, i don't have how many minutes to tell you to fry it here just i mean engage everything with your eye but before then i'll add some dry fish I'm actually using two different types of fish here catfish and the other one i really don't know what it's called okay i just know that it's dry fish and it tastes good because i normally use it in cooking my soups okay so like i said i'm going to fry this until i see that the oil floats on top and also to allow the pepper to fry very well i don't like i don't like my stew having funny taste so i like to fry very very well I'll add some salt and just small amount of seasoning cubes because the native seasoning alone is enough okay so I am not adding any other seasoning apart from the one you saw me adding now I 
I'm going to cover it halfway. Yeah, because if I cover everything, it will be as if I'm cooking it. So for me to fry, I have to just cover halfway. So if you look wherever you see that the oil has floated on top, that shows that the pepper has fried to the point that I wanted it to. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to remove uh, some, of, some of it because I'm going to be topping it with the rice later. Okay, but if you don't like doing it this way, you can just add the rice without removing some of the peppers. But this is something that I do whenever I am making jollof rice and it, it works perfectly for me. But like I said, this is something for me, okay? You are not forced to do anything like this. I will give it a very good mix. And at this point, I'm adding uh, my scent leaf. This is frozen scent leaf, okay? And I'll add just a little bit amount of uh, beef stock, okay? Just about two or three spoons. And as you can see, I'm topping the rice with the, uh, the sauce that I removed earlier. I'm going to cover with foil paper and then cook on low heat, on the lowest heat, guys, always. And at this point, the chicken, as you can see, is ready just out of the oven, okay? Looking so beautiful. All right, so I uh, will wait for the rice to get done, and this is it. Okay, this is the rice I'm going to mix. It's looking white, but just let me mix everything together, and you see how beautiful this rice looks. Okay, my goodness, hmm. I can't wait to devour this rice because I mean, the smell in my nose right now, eh? something else. So, but before then, I'll add some shrimps that I prepared earlier, okay? I prepared this just to make this video a little bit short, okay? Because um, if I should show how I do everything here, we're going to be making one hour video. I'll also add some fresh basil leaf, okay? Freshly plucked, and I'm going to mix everything together, guys. At this point, uh, the flame is awful, so it's the heat that is going to do everything now. Yeah, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just advise you to try this rice. Just look at that rice. You see why I like to use basmatic rice? Oh my goodness. Hmm. It tasted so good, guys. It tasted so good. And for the salad, these are my ingredients, okay? You can add cucumber to this. The reason I didn't add cucumber is because my children don't love cucumber inside salad, okay? But the rest of the things you are seeing here, they love it, okay? So I've gone ahead to cut everything off camera okay because if i should show you everything here like i said we're going to be making one hour video guys always combine your food with vegetables fruits and vegetables especially for the children that are still growing yeah guys thank you and happy easter thank